Hi there everyone, it's Mike from Wondershare Recover It, which is a professional and reliable data recovery tool. We're back with another video where we'll be discussing Apple's newest chip, the Apple M1. If you're an Apple fanboy, you may already know about the newest M1 chip that has replaced the traditional Intel processors that were found in Apple products. While these new chips are supposed to make MacBooks more efficient, some people have had mixed opinions about them. So in this video, we'll take a closer look about what's new with the M1 chips and what it brings to the table and whether you should consider buying a MacBook with an M1 chip. But before that, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any future updates. Now talking about the new Apple M1 chips, they basically follow a unified architecture. Intel chips use an x86 architecture, whereas the M1 uses an ARM architecture. As opposed to the traditional Intel processors, the Apple M1 is a system on a chip or SOC. This means that certain components of the MacBook, like the CPU, GPU, SSD controller, RAM, and neural engine are present on the same chip. This new architecture improves the overall processing performance and efficiency and makes it easier for the user to run intensive tasks without the overheating or fan noise issues found in Intel processors. Due to the unified memory structure, all the components can access the same data on the RAM without having to switch between different memory pools. Another major advantage of the new Apple M1 chip is the 16 cores that are present on the chip, which we'll get into later, so keep watching. The only major downside of the new M1 chip is that the RAM cannot be upgraded by the user. Since the RAM is also integrated on the M1 chip itself, you won't be able to upgrade it in the future, so just be aware of that. Apple introduced the Silicon M1 chip in November 2020. At that time, only three products were released with the M1 chip. These products were the base model 13-inch MacBook Pro, the 13-inch MacBook Air, and the base Mac Mini. As of 2021, however, Apple has also added the M1 chip in the 24-inch iMac and the iPad Pro. So now that you've got a general idea of Apple's M1 chip, let's walk you through some of the main features of the of these chips that have made it even better than the Intel integrated Apple products. As we mentioned earlier, all of the components, including the CPU, GPU, and neural engine are integrated on the same single chip. This makes the entire architecture highly efficient and capable of processing complex instructions without taking up too much time. In fact, the neural engine has 16 individual cores and uses the AI to switch between these cores for efficient processing. This way, the chip can handle multiple tasks without exhausting the resources. Speed is another key factor that makes the Apple M1 chips better. For instance, out of the 16 cores, four of those cores are high performance cores that are dedicated to solving complex instructions. And then we have four high efficiency cores, which are to handle the lighter processors of the Mac. Then the eight remaining cores are there to handle the GPU instruction specifically, so an eight core GPU. There are also specific encoders that handle specific tasks rather than the CPU or GPU handling them, like like for example, audio and video encoders, meaning that certain processes that involve those are even faster. The new M1 chips are battery efficient as well. Because of the high efficiency cores, they use very little power to run basic tasks. So when you are using your MacBook for casual uses, you can see battery life nearing 20 hours on a single charge. Even the high performance cores are highly efficient for intensive tasks, meaning less power, but also less time to complete those tasks, draining less battery than the Intel chips. According to some reports, these chips run at around 25 watts at its maximum load compared to nearly 65 watts on Intel chips. That's nearly three times less energy, but is actually more powerful per watt. 
The SSD controller on the new M1 chips has an AES encryption hardware, which offers high levels of security. This means that whenever the controller is reading or writing data on the SSD, other applications won't be able to access it at all. You also have this thing called the Secure Enclave for Touch ID and Face ID, meaning that it cannot be accessed by any application or anyone. With the Apple Silicon chips becoming the norm in Apple products, many users wonder, is it possible to recover deleted files from them? Well, the answer is yes. However, you won't be able to recover the data using traditional methods. To do this, you have to use a professional recovery tool such as Wondershare Recoverit to recover your data. Wondershare Recoverit is a data recovery software that many users have used to restore deleted files on their MacBooks and Windows systems. The newest version of the software, Wondershare Recoverit 9.6, allows its users to recover files from the AES encrypted M1 chips in the new Apple devices. Recovery supports multiple file formats, which means you can use it to recover different file types, such as movies, songs, pictures, and documents. So if you have accidentally deleted a few files from your brand new M1 supported MacBook or iMac, you can use Wondershare Recoverit to get those back. Let's quickly take a look at how to use Recoverit to restore deleted files on your MacBook. First of all, install Recoverit on your Mac and launch the application to get started. On the home screen, choose the location where you have deleted the files and then click Start. Recoverit will start scanning the selected drive for those deleted files. The process will only take a few minutes to complete, depending obviously on the size of your drive. Meanwhile, if you've already found the files that you want to recover, then you can stop the process here. Now select the files that you want to restore. If you want, you can also see a preview by clicking the preview button on the right menu bar. Finally, click recover at the bottom right hand corner to restore the selected files on your Mac. It's no secret that Apple has always been at the forefront of designing new technologies and bringing them together. The M1 chip is one of the best examples of Apple's innovative thinking. Buying an Apple computer or iPad with the M1 chip is definitely a great option over the Intel options. Just make sure to buy the right amount of RAM. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please make sure to drop a like and comment down below. If you wanna see more videos like this, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification notification bell. Anyway, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.